Shalom, Israel. Most High Christ bless. Uh, this is Captain. I'm Captain Neon. I'm also R.A. All right. And this is 15 minutes with the captain. This is IUIC Houston. And today's topic is going to be God is a separatist. God is a separatist. So, of course, we know Christianity through the lies that they teach that God loves everyone, that it's equality for all. But we're going to get into scriptures and show you that God is not equal with all nations and also he's not dealing with all nations right all right so the lives will be uh broken up today all right so let's start off with um second Ezra 6 and 54 second Ezra 6 and 54 all right throughout our lives we've been taught lies you know most our god is not dealing with all nations and and knowing this he gave us certain things that we are as Israel to abide by. All right, let's read that. The book of Second Edges, mm -hmm. chapter 6, verse 54. All right. And after these, Adam also, who thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So this is starting all the way back from the beginning. It, <laughs> Christianity loved to start in the beginning. They don't understand the Bible, similar tools, allegories, so on and so forth. But they they love starting in Genesis, not knowing what was going on. From the beginning, the most I chose Adam. He didn't choose everybody. There's more people than Adam as well. But he chose Adam. And then it says at the bottom of that, uh, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. We're going to find out who God chose. Because remember, you got to go precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. That's how you define Bible, all right? I don't need your private interpretation, all right? So from there, let's go to Deuteronomy 14 and 2. Because, and we're going to go back to 2nd Ezra. Because at the end of the day, the Most High God defines who has chosen, his people, who he's dealing with in the Bible. It's not for everyone, all right? Let me get the, go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, Verse 2, mm -hmm. for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. First off, we can stop right there. It said thou art a holy people. Holy means separate, okay? Not unlike unto everybody else. The other nations don't have a part with us. The other nations don't do or, or wouldn't give the laws of God to apply to their lives. You understand? They have their own fake deities, okay? Go ahead. And the Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people. That's that word again. The Lord has chosen thee to be a peculiar people. All right, go ahead. Unto himself. Unto himself. Unto the Lord God. Go ahead. Above all the nations that are upon the earth. Above all the nations that are upon the earth. Keep reading. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. So it, then when you read, it goes into what? Dietary laws. The most I set us apart in every which way you can think of from these other nations. We're not like unto them. We're separate from them, all right? And holy unto the Most High. So from there, let's go back to 2nd Ezra 6, and let's start back at 54. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, mm -hmm. of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So we understand and establish that the Most High God chose particular people. All right. We all come of Adam, but it's separate nations in there. Go ahead. Keep reading. All this have I spoke, spoken on before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So he made the world for the children of Israel. Go ahead. As for the other people. So now he's going into the other nations. The other people that were created and made, you know, God made everybody in every nation. But that particular people he chose and the other people he for to talk about the other nations. Go ahead. Which also come of Adam. Mm -hmm. Thou hast said that they are nothing. What? They're not equal to the children of Israel? No. Most I said they're nothing to him. He made all flesh for a reason, a particular reason. They're here for the reason that the Most High chose them or uh, brought them here to be here. All right, go ahead. But be like unto spittle. Be like unto spittle. The spit that come out your mouth. Go ahead. 
and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. The Most High God don't care about them. That yeah. drop of water, that spit that comes out your mouth when you're talking, when you um, when your mouth get dry, whatever the case may be, he does not care about. He comparing that to the other nations. He don't care about them. I have no compassion for them. All right, go ahead. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen. These heathen. So he's identifying the other nations are the heathen. These pastors want to tell us that we the heathen or the Gentiles or the strangers. No, we none of that. We're the children of Israel. Right. All right. These heathen, go ahead. Which have ever been reputed as nothing. They've always had a reputation to be nothing. God chose us. He set us above high, on high. Through King David, King Solomon, so on and so forth, that we ruled at one time. But it's because of our sin and our iniquity while we've been brought to a lower state. All right? We're getting judged for that. All right? Go ahead. Have begun to be lords over us. All right. And to devour us. Today. They're doing that today. Through all these systems and devices they've set up, they're devouring us and destroying us as a nation. Right. And it all starts up here. Go ahead. But we, thy people. We, thy people. That's going back to the chosen that he said up in verse 54. All right. Go ahead. Who thou hast called thy firstborn, mm -hmm. thy only begotten, mm -hmm. and thy fervent lover. Wow, that says a lot right there. All right. It says the only begotten. He called Christ his only begotten. Christ from the tribe of Judah. That's our Lord. It says in thy firstborn. Let's go to Exodus 4 and 22 right quick to prove who the firstborn is. The Bible defines the Bible, all right? Exodus 4 and 22. The, the book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 22. Uh -huh. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. See that? It say, Israel is my son. Those are my children, even my firstborn. Indeed, right. my firstborn. That's what he's saying. So understand, Moses brought Israel out of the hand of Pharaoh. Moses led Israel out of Egypt. So all these markers that we're showing you is to, to help you identify that God is a separatist, that God is only fighting for one nation of people. You understand? From there, let's go to Leviticus 20 and 23. I hope you, you, you're taking this in, Israel, and putting all the pieces together to understand that our God, the God of Israel, we're going to read that, is only fighting, is only working with, is only pushing, and will establish back in the kingdom us. That's it, all right? What I call, oh, Leviticus. Go ahead. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 23. Uh -huh. And ye shall not walk in the manners of the nation. Read it again. And ye shall not walk in the manners of the nations. Say, ye shall not walk in the manners of the nations. The other nations have different customs, philosophies, all these things that we, as the nation of Israel, do not consort to, do not uh, deal with. Right. All right. These aren't our customs. The Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, all these things we don't identify with because our God didn't give them to us. You understand? Keep reading. Which I cast out before you. The Most High God said he cast them out before us. Again, he's showing you he's a separatist. He didn't mix and mingle all of us together. He cast them out before us. He set us apart, that holy nation. Go ahead. For they committed all these things, and therefore I abhor them. The Most High God say, I abhor them. Abhor means to hate. He hate the other nations. People say we hate. We don't hate. The Most High God hate. That's right. All right. He created all flesh, and he can hate who he created. Go ahead. But I have said unto you, mm -hmm. ye shall inherit their land, mm -hmm. and I will give it unto you to possess it, mm -hmm. a land that floweth with milk and honey. That's the promised land, and he told Moses that he was going to give us. That we were going to inherit, it, come, inherit coming out of Egypt. And he did give us that land. All right. And we're going to read that in the scriptures. How he divided. Go ahead. I am the Lord your God. Which have separated you from other people. Read that loud precept again. I am. I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God Israel. Okay. None else. Read. 
which have separated you from other people. Most high God separated us. That's why he's a separatist from the other, other nations. Right. All right. He separated us. Go ahead. Ye shall therefore put differences between clean beasts mm -hmm. and unclean, mm -hmm. and between unclean fowls and clean. Mm -hmm. And ye shall not make your souls abominable by beasts, or by fowl, mm -hmm. or by any manner of living thing that creepeth up on the ground, mm -hmm. which I have separated from you as unclean. The Most High God gave us law, statutes, and commandments. When you read Leviticus 11, he gave us a dietary law, what to eat and what not to eat. Right. All the other nations can eat all those defiled food that they choose to. Shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, all those things they can have and love it. We as the children of Israel, we cannot eat those things. Right. He separated us from all nations to understand we have a, a law, statutes, and commandments that we as Israel have to abide by. Right. All right. Uh, from that, let's go to Joel 2 and 27. No, oh, before you go there, go to Deuteronomy 32 and 8. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 8. All right, go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. Mm -hmm. When the Most High divided the nations, mm -hmm. their inheritance, which he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bonds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. So this just explained a lot. From Adam, all right, he gave us the inheritance of the land. He said he separated the bounds of the other nations according to what we had. So the Most High God gave us our land, but he gave the other nations their inheritance as well. The Most right. High God separated us from them. He didn't want us to be like unto the Gentile or the heathens. He wanted us to be separate from them. And it goes with today and how we think and being in that Gentile state of mind of everything that we've learned in America. We have to be born again not to do those things, to turn back to the laws of God and remember what he gave us as a nation. All right, Joel 2 and 27. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Mm -hmm. And ye should know that I am in the midst of Israel. So the Most High God said, and ye shall know. That's for all people, all nations to know that I am in the midst of Israel. Go ahead. And that I am the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God, Israel. Go ahead. And none else. And none else. Go ahead. And my people should never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass. No, that's it. So it says, I am the Lord your God and none else. That's what you have to understand, that our God is the God of Israel, all right? When you go to, uh, when you go to Psalms, we're not going to go there, but Psalms 149, 19, and 20 tells you, God gave us law, statutes, and commandments, not to marry the heathen, not to eat abominable food, not to worship idols. All these things he gave the children of Israel, all right? And for us breaking those things, because when you read that, it tells us we're going to have a judgment. So go to Amos 3 and 1, all right? Amos 3 and 1. And having those law, statutes, and commandments that he separated us from all nations, he gave us a judgment for breaking those things. Go ahead. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So hear the words that God spoke against you, O children of Israel. So the Most High God um, put a curse upon us because we did what? We broke his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. All right. Go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. I referenced that earlier. He brought the children of Israel under the hand of Moses out of Egypt. Go ahead. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. He's saying the same thing over and over and over. It's repetitive. The Bible is repetitive. The Most High God saying the same thing because we as a people are not hearing it. It said, you only have I known. So, he's the Lord your God only, all right, and none else. Keep going. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. He said, therefore, I will punish you, Israel, because I gave you the law, statutes, and commandments for what? Your iniquities, your sins that you've committed against me, all right? That's it? That's it. Okay. That was one and two? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll praise it. So, 
with that understanding, Israel, I pray that y'all got something from this class. And I, I hope you see that the Most High God is not dealing with all nations, all right? And that you come back and uh, tune in to the next class, all right? Shalom, Most High Christ bless y'all. Shalom. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.